So today's uh, interview question is, how can you write a script that's going to take a word, any word passed in, and then it's going to find all the vowels inside there and then flip the order of them? So you can see here with the word cottage, the E at the end is going to be switched with the O at the beginning. And then you find one that closer to the middle. So A doesn't have a pair, so it just stays where it is. So cottage becomes setago. Hello becomes holla. So if there's an even number, they just swap. Uh, sauce has three, so the E and the A are going to switch places. U is going to stay where it is. JavaScript, the A and the I are going to flip. The A in the middle is just going to stay where it is. So that's the question, and we want to be able to do this with as few loops as possible. So we don't want to keep having to iterate again and again and again and loop again and again and again, because that's going to slow down the process. And if you've got a really long word with lots of vowels, it's going to really start to lag. So that's the problem. The link down to the description is the solution, which I'm going to take up in a minute, but have a go and see if you can figure this out yourself. And then we're going to come back and talk about the solution. Okay, welcome back. So talking about the solution, we'll open up the function here to take a look. So this is my solution to the problem. First thing I want to do is I want to find all the vowels. Now, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the word that's being passed in. So you can see down here, I'm calling my function twice, once with JavaScript, once with hello. Those are the results that I'm getting from it. And I'm passing in the word, and then I'm going to turn the word into an array. So each character in the word is going to be an individual element inside of an array. I do that so I can call the reduce function. Now the reduce function is going to loop through every element in the array and there's going to be an accumulator. That's the last thing. The reduce takes two arguments. The first one is what's the function that you want to run on each element in the array? And then what is the accumulator? This is the element that gets passed along. Every time the function gets called, this, whatever is inside of here, becomes the first element. So then when I return it, it becomes the first element the next time it's called and then again and again so it just continues to go through and at the very end you're, you're left with one single value all right now that one value is going to be placed into this variable matches now the one value could be an object it could be an array it could be anything but it's one thing that you're getting back i'm starting off with an array because i want to have an array with all the position numbers for the vowels so that's the accumulator. The second one here is the uh, current value. So that's the item, the letter from the, the word. Uh, it also gives you the index. It'll give you a copy of the array. Um, I put the index here because that's what I want to save. That's my position. So position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, however long the word is, what position in that word are the vowels going to be? And then the only thing I'm doing inside of here, I'm adding that number to the accumulator if I have this array of possible values. So if you wanted to include y in there, you could just add it to this. And then the array method includes, and I put in the letter. So does this letter exist inside of this array? If so, yes, great. I'm going to add the index number to this array. So after all of this, what I'm left with is an array that has the positions for all the vowels. So let's run this code. We'll run it one time here. And we can see in JavaScript, 1, 3, and 7. Those are the positions. So I'll scroll down here. We'll take a look. 0, 1 is a vowel. 2, 3 is a vowel. 4, 5, 6, 7 is a vowel. And then in hello, 0, 1 is the vowel. 2, 3, 4. So 1 and 4. Those are the positions. That's what we're getting from matches. All right, so we've looped through the array one time at this point. We've run through it. We've, re we've done the reduce. We've created a brand new array that tells us what are the position numbers. Now I want to know how long that array is because I'm going to do a second loop, but I don't have to loop all the way through. I'm just going to loop through half of the array. So if I'm looking at an array like this, it has three vowels in it. I don't have to do anything with this middle one. It's really just the one and the seven that I have to flip. So if I loop one time, I can take the one 
and then I find out what's the last element in the array, and I swap those two characters. If there's two things, again, I'm looping one time and I'm swapping those. If there were five, I would only have to loop twice to do this effectively. All right, so I'm getting a copy again. I'm taking Word, converting it to an array again. So this is my copy of it. And I need that to be able to do move the, the first vowel to the last position, the last vowel to the first position. To be able to do that swap, I need at least two variables to do this. So that's why I'm creating this copy. Now my letter, I'm going to get a substring of word, which is the actual string. And I'm going to go to the very last position in the array. So that would be the seven here. So length minus one gives me position number three, or sorry, two in my array, zero, one, and two. That will be the number seven. And I'm substringing, I'm taking one more than that. So I'm basically just grabbing the very last letter in there. So the first time through, this is going to be the I in JavaScript. So this was position seven right here. I'm taking seven up to eight but not including eight. So that's the letter I is now inside of letter. Then I'm going to go into my copy and I'm going to remove from the copy I, which is my loop counter here. So one minus one is zero. So what's position zero inside of matches? Matches zero is one. So that means position one inside of here is going to be that first letter, the A. So we've got the letter A and we're going to replace it because we're calling splice in the array. We're replacing it with the I that we got here. That's the letter. This is the I. So we're replacing the A with the I. And then, so at this point, inside removed, we're going to have word copy, which is an array. So it's got something like this. It's an array with all these letters inside of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the posi in position one, and we're going to re remove one and replace it with this. So we found this and we replaced it with that. So this is what we have inside of word copy now, or inside of removed. And then we're going to go into word copy and we're going to once again do a splice. We're going to go to the last character, remove one. So this would be in position seven. We're going to remove one character and then take what was inside of here. So we're going to do the final switch and then we join it all back together. So it becomes J I V A S C R A P T. And then we join it back together. And that is what we put back into Word. And then that's what we return. So we loop whatever the number of matches is, divide that by two and round down. That's what you get. If you've got five vowels in something, I have to loop twice. If I get three vowels, I have to loop once, two vowels, once, four vowels, twice. So it's half the number rounded down is the number of times we have to loop here. And we had to loop once up here using the reduce to find those positions. And there we go. And that's what we have. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the, in the comments down below. If you have an alternate solution that you want to post for people, please feel free to do that in the comments down below as well. And as always, thanks for watching.